Capricorns, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Maya. If you like the energy, of course, if you like the vibe, feel free to like and subscribe, okay? So let's see what's going on with Capricorns. Capricorns, also, I could be picking up on you. The cross watcher is watching for you or a third party, meaning you're not another person that's dealing with somebody you know or somebody that, you know, surrounds you, okay? So let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Minera. What is the overall energy for Capricorn? What else? Somebody did a lot of crying here when it came to a situation, you know, with a person, or it could have been, you know, things that were happening around you that were not serving you that were not really justable for you something that was happening that was surrounded by a lot of darkness okay this is your card capricorn i feel like you're walking away or you're about to walk away or you moved on for something that or someone that was making you cry that broke your heart that deceived you in some type of way i feel like you have a lot of things coming your way that are good you know the justice card is here bringing balance to your life but also bringing karma you know it could be to somebody that was doing something bad too because i feel like there was a lot of crying here you were stuck in some energy at some point where somebody was very heartbroken here you know crying sad depressed they didn't know what to do they didn't know how to move forward but i feel like something illuminated in you i feel like something you know woke up in you i feel like you had some type of wake up where it made you realize you need to move forward because you were in this energy at some point in time, you were in this energy crying a lot, depressed, not knowing what to do, brokenhearted. But I feel like whoever harmed you here, it could be love. It could be a person that you were romantically with or a person that you wanted to be with is what I'm picking up here. And you tried over and over again and it didn't work. You know, and it's like, you know, with the eight of cups here, you're walking away. You want something better. You're designed for something more. You're designed to like move on and balance out your life. You feel me? Judgment is here. Something inside of you said, I have to move forward because there's very there was a very toxic energy around you that could have been causing a lot of chaos for you, a lot of, you know, substances, drinking, you know. Even though I'm picking up Capricorns here, some of you had a drinking issue or a substance issue, but I feel like whoever was surrounding you at that moment or whatever was surrounding you right now at this moment are people that are in the same energy, are people that don't move on from that energy. And it's like you're tired of living in that energy. You feel me? And I don't want no judgment around here. You feel me? Because everybody here has their own issues, their own problems. You know, everybody has their skeletons. Everybody does and deals with their issues different ways. So please don't judge anybody. But I feel like somebody here got tired of that. And somebody here wants to move forward, to do things right, to balance out their life. You know, to bring good karma into their life. Because I feel like you feel like you've stirred a lot of karma in this earth. You feel me? And I feel like somebody came in or some illumination or some message. Something that was given to you or you might have dreamed about. Or you might have like noticed a sign or a message, a synchronicity, whatever it is. I feel like... For some reason, you felt like something came in and told you, okay, you need to move forward. And it could be something spiritual, you know, spiritual awakening. But I feel like a lot of justice coming in here in your favor. I feel like whatever went, went on with you, whatever, you know, I feel like you completed a karmic cycle. And I don't like to say karmic, but that's what she's telling me, cumpliendo su karma. So it's like... What goes around comes around. I feel like you could complete a cycle here of karma and you're entering a new journey, you know, with justice. You feel me? Like justice in your favor and with good karma coming in and balancing out your life. But, you know, there's a lot of energies here that want to surround you. There's a lot of energies here that want to be attached to you for bad reasons, not for good reasons, because they can't move forward. You feel me? That's all they know. That's all they, that's all they understand. That's all they're going to keep on doing. You feel me? So... You got to put a lot of strength into this because I feel like it's been hard for you for a very long time to move forward out of these energies. And if you did move forward, keep on going because I feel like justice is going to serve itself to whoever here harmed you in some type of way. Because I feel like you were so broken hearted at some point, but I feel like you're understanding now that you don't have to be heartbroken. I feel like you're understanding now that you need to open up a little bit because I feel like you were very closed off here. And with judgment here, I feel like something good is coming. I feel like... You realize you need to open up more to get what you want. 
You feel me? And that's where balance comes in and justice comes in. And everything comes in in your favor. You fought a lot with your mind. It's like you fought a lot with your thoughts. Or you're still fighting it. You feel me? But continuing, it's going to serve you. Right. But there's people around you here. That if they're still around you and you're still communicating or still like acquaintances, you need to remove them. What else for Capricorn here, Mineira? What else? Yeah, somebody here is very jealous of you. Somebody here doesn't want to move on. Look, there was two people here that did not work out. There was two people here that did not see eye to eye. There was a relationship here that it was, you were similar. It's like you were the same person. You know, it was like a fighting all the time. And like, I put my sword up, you put yours. You know, I put my voice up, you put yours. You know, you tell me what to do, I tell you what to do. You know, the king of swords and the page of swords. It's like somebody coming in, you know, to literally, like, try to mess you up in some type of way. You feel me? And you're a person that doesn't put up with this. You're a person that does not let nobody fuck you up. But at some point or the other, somebody manipulated you here into something. And you fell for it. But I feel like you were kind of, like, trying to fix the situation here with a person. And you kind of, like, love this person. But you realize at the end that this person's only a problem. And that you really don't love this person. You're walking away. You, like, you tried everything you could. That's in the bottom of the deck. You're moving. You're moving forward. Um, I was going to justice. So, you know, Libra here is very calling out to me because I keep on wanting to say justice. But I feel like, you know, changes are coming. Like, you're shredding the old, but there's still attachments to you. People don't want you to move forward. And I feel like somebody here is going to try to intervene when it comes to you moving forward. You know, because I feel like they want to be attached to you for whatever reason that it seems. But it seems like this person is very chaotic, very a person that's very, like... It's a very immature energy. It's a, a, an energy that you want to move forward. You want to stabilize your life, but this person doesn't. They want to keep on partying. They want to keep on drinking. They want to keep on smoking weed, whatever it is. They want to keep on chilling. It's not a person that's material to marry, to have, you know, as a woman, as a man. It's a person that's only about arguments, chilling. And if there's no, art, if there's no drinking or partying, this person is not stable. It's like they have to have a drink or weed or whatever substance they're using, you know, to have a good time. But I feel like you're getting you're getting a place of your own. You know, it doesn't mean that you're going to buy a house or, like, move into a place. But you might be buying a home. You might be moving. You feel me? But your house is going to feel much warmer, much inviting. You feel me? Like, your house is going to feel much peaceful because justice is coming in. You're balancing everything. Look, the king of cups in the bottom of the deck. You want love. You want stability. You want success. You want to be happy. You feel me? It doesn't mean that you're going to find somebody and you want to be with somebody, but it means you want to be happy. You're putting effort into loving yourself and to knowing what you're worth. Because I feel like at some point, you put yourself down. Like if you were not worth anything. And I don't feel like it's you. It could have been trauma that you were having from the past since you were a child. And that has disturbed you. And that's always going to be there because I can't sugarcoat it. You know, trauma will always be there in some which way or form. You know, but I feel like at some point, your confidence went down because of somebody here. Because you tried so much and so much and you could not understand why this person... I feel like this person was dealing with somebody else. I feel like this person left at somebody else and you tried with this person and it didn't work out. And I feel like you stayed stuck there where like, I'm not moving forward. I'm not doing shit. I'm staying right here. I don't want to meet nobody. I don't want to commit to nobody because this person has fucked me up so much that I can't trust anybody. But you're bringing balance into your life. But there's a situation here with two people that don't meet eye to eye. Two people that cannot be together. Two people that cannot understand each other. It's like two people that are not meant to be together is what I'm picking up here. But your house is going to feel much warmer. Like the energy is going to get better because you're moving forward. You're moving away from what no longer serves you. You're moving away from toxic people, but there's still toxic people around you. It's like you want success. You you want it all. I mean, let me see. Mineira. What else for Capricorn is here? You see what I'm saying? It's like you're dodging people. It's like, this is like an enemy card for me. It's like you're dodging people here. You're dodging everything. But it's like every time you dodge people here, they come looking for you. You feel me? Or they come trying to call you or text you or trying to come into your energy. You're trying to dodge things here. It's like you don't want no part 
of anything that has to do with drama, chaos, or anything of this sort. I feel like whoever you left here, you know, whoever you were dealing with here, friends, family, a person, is like you're tired of this. You're moving forward. And I feel like slowly but surely, because the swords don't move that fast. You feel me? They move fast. Pentacles move faster. But I feel like you're on your way out of a life that you've always had. You feel me? And I feel like we're like, ugh, sneaky. Very sneaky. Whoever here you were dealing with is a very sneaky motherfucker. Is a person that for a long time wouldn't let you move forward. For a long time was getting into your energy and bothering like if you would try to move this person no you can't move it was it was it was no balance here it's like i feel like this person wishes for your downfall but wishing for your downfall is actually gonna fuck them up because justice is coming in here to help you capricorns whoever i'm picking up here because i'm picking up like three energies some of you are getting karma that you already served and now it's time to start over and this person's not realizing it. Whoever you were dealing with here is a person that you will not connect with again. Because even if you try again, this person's not going to change. There's too much chaos, too much fighting. Not seeing eye to eye. And they want retaliation. They want revenge. And it's like, you're moving very you know, slowly but surely to get your peace. You feel me? Because no matter where this person goes, no matter how, where you hang out with this person, you chill, whatever they do. Or you do it's like they form a chaos they bring in balance to, into everybody around them including yourself friends family it's like people notice this from this person you know some of you here are very heartbroken some of you here walked away from a person that you really had at some point some balance and a beautiful thing you had together but it's like it's not working out for some reason I feel like you're moving in the direction of somebody else. You might have met somebody else, Capricorn. Let me see. What else for Capricorn here, Mineira? What else? What else for Capricorn? You're moving to big success. Big abundance. Money. You're concerned about your money. You're worried about making money. You're all about making your money. You feel me? It's like you're not giving three fucks about anybody no more. And I feel like somebody here sneakily, uh, sneakily, that's not even a word, but you know, I don't care. Mercury, Mercury retrograde is here and I don't give a fuck. Like, I feel like somebody here for some reason, very sneaky, took something from you. And I feel like affected you with your money when it had to do with your home. And I feel like there's two people here, three people here actually. That fucked you over when it came to money, when it came to your home. And when I say home, it's because if they fuck you up with your money, they're going to fuck you up in your home. They're going to fuck your stability up. And I feel like for some reason, some Capricorns here that I'm picking up, it's about to blow up on somebody here. Because I feel like somebody here took something from you, but you're moving on to your abundance. You're moving on to success. You're moving on to a warmth place. A nice place. Your home is going to be filled with new energy. Clarity. Well, you could think better. You feel me? But you're very concerned and you're doing you with money. And justice is going to help you. What goes around comes around. Whoever fucked you up here is going to go through a lot. There's a, lot of There's a person here that's thinking a lot of what they did to you. And I feel like they fucked up. And I feel like they feel like I fucked with the wrong person. You feel me? But you're moving forward and you're moving big. So Capricorn, so whoever's here is, you know, moving to a better job, like building something for yourself. Have even thoughts of building anything, like a little business or starting small and going up. And you have these creativity ideas in your in your head. You got to start doing it now. But don't tell nobody about it because she's telling me, todo en silencio. Like everything has to be in silence. Don't tell anybody your business. When it comes to money and moving forward to success or whatever it is, even to a person, don't tell anybody. Because people here, spe specifically two people here, are wishing your downfall. And I feel like somebody here with blonde hair, streaks, some type of hair like that I'm seeing in front of my mind's eye. It's a girl with streaks. Like brown hair with very thin streaks, long hair. It's, it's a straight hair. 
very thin girl. It's like a person that's like wishing you bad a lot. It's like the evil eye. Even if you haven't seen this person in a long time, it's what she's telling me. Aunque hayan pasado los años, le sigue siendo mal. Like even if years have passed by, this person keeps on wishing somebody here bad. And it's a female that I'm seeing. But there was a person that you had issues with. So it could be a female that's with a male or a male that's with a female that you've had issues with. But I feel like there's a male-to-male -male problem here because of a woman here. And this woman at some point was your woman. But she moved on to somebody else and left you behind. You feel me? And she's created a life with somebody else and left you out on the cold. But this woman and this man, no matter what you do, I feel like this woman separated from somebody here or this man separated from somebody here. And there was kind of like a reunion between you and this person. You try to work it out, but it didn't work out. This person keeps on going back to the other person. And there was a problem here with this person. Or there was going to be a physical problem with this person. But there's beef here with two people because of somebody. But this girl's very coming out very clearly in my mind's eye. I don't know who that is. But be careful with somebody here. Because I feel like whoever this person is, they're not going to stop. You feel me? And I feel like Capricorns, for some of you, you haven't moved forward because of this person. It's not that you fear this person, you're scared of this person. It's because of the chaos this person forms everywhere. But surely, karma is coming in and it's going to fuck this person up. They're going to take all their abundance away. There is a person that's very sneaky, a person that does things in the down low. You find out, you forgave this person many times, and they kept on doing it. And you did it because you love this person, not because you, you were vulnerable or weak or anything like that. She's telling me, Luis, you love this person. That's why you gave this person so many chances. You feel me? But I feel like you're moving forward. Let me see. What is coming towards Capricorn here? You know, yeah. Ooh. Strength. Let me see how this ended. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This person was only with you for money. Whatever you were doing, whatever business you were doing, whatever job you have, whatever money you you were giving this person, whatever you helped this person with, they were only there for the money. They would not nurture you. They would nurture themselves. I feel like there was a lot of love here that you needed from this person and this person didn't give it to you. You need inner strength, but this person had a lot of strength when it came to you. To you. You feel me? Like, even look at the girl. The hair even looks like the same of the girl that I saw in my mind's eye. This person was only here... You know, putting a lot of power and energy when it came to manipulation for money here. So whatever you were dealing with here, Capricorn, or you're dealing with now, it's like they're very, they're very money hungry. It's like they don't like to see you do yourself. They want to do themselves. They want you to give them. You feel me? But this is over for them. It's over. It's over. It came out of reverse. It's over. But... You know, be careful with somebody coming in and strongly trying to get into your energy, you know, because they want to have a part of what you're doing with money, your job, whatever it is, hustling, whatever you're doing, they want to have a part of that. And I feel like it was sent by somebody. The Queen of Wands in the bottom of the deck, very conniving person. The Queen of Wands could be very conniving. Could turn a 360. I mean, yeah, a 360 very quickly and connive somebody up so i feel like whoever you're dealing with whoever your friends are whoever you know could be family could be anybody i feel like somebody was sent here you know to do something to you use you for your money or even give information to somebody that's what she's telling me information so somebody here whatever you were doing whatever you were doing with this person whatever you did in the past with this person whatever this person knows about you they were giving information to somebody i feel like a lot of people here deceived you when it came to money and when it came to things that you deserved. And I feel like you haven't blown up yet because I feel like you don't want to get in trouble. But at some point, somebody is going to blow up. You need to be very careful with your power because you have a lot of power. When it comes to, when you blow up, nobody can stop you. Hold on a minute. Let me see what else for Capricorn is here. It's coming. Listen. You know, this person is going to try to come back. 
the knight of swords in the bottom of the deck is a person you can't trust is a person that's going to come in you know and try to like enter your energy again and they're going to strongly strongly try to get into your energy again This person is having money issues. This person is a person that cheated the whole time. Is a person that they couldn't control what they did. I feel like somebody here had the opportunity to fix things with you and do a better thing. But I feel like they fucked up many times. You gave them too many chances. I feel like you tried to leave this person many times. And they will keep you there with a lot of like heavy talk. Like, you did this, you, and I feel like you felt bad for this person, is what I'm picking up here. It's what she's telling me. Like, you felt really bad for somebody here, and that's why you stayed in this connection. You cannot feel bad for anybody. you got to move forward and do yourself. Because at the end of the day, what I'm picking up here is this person strongly did not give three fucks about you, or about you doing yourself, or about you nurturing yourself, or whatever you did was a problem. If you did anything, even though they were doing with you, drinking, uh, chilling, vibing, whatever it was, you were a problem. You're doing this wrong. Why are you doing that? You look foolish. You look embarrassing. It's like a person that put you down all the time. A person you give a lot to, and didn't appreciate nothing you gave them. This person could have been dealing with a person that you knew, that you probably left in the past, a friend of yours, or something happened here, but they're dealing with somebody you know. And I feel like you had a problem here with a person from your past, a friend or something. It could be cousins, it could be somebody you call family, a brother, a sister, whatever it is. This person slept with somebody you know. I'm sorry, but I can't sugarcoat the shit. This will never work out. There's too many energies here that are bad. Whatever energies are surrounding you right now that you need, that you don't want to leave in the past, you need to like remove them. You need a lot of inner strength here, Capricorn. When it comes to accepting yourself, when it comes to accepting nurturing yourself, when it comes to accepting giving to yourself, you need a lot of inner strength. Because I feel like you give too much to others and you don't give yourself. And I feel like whoever you give to, they end up fucking you over no matter what. You feel me? Let me see. Minera. What else here on this spread? Yeah, you know, I mean, people here, you could have been dealing with here with somebody that was in a long distance. Or you could have been traveling. Or you were in a long distance relationship or something. Or you had to go to work in a long distance. Or this person had to leave, whatever it was. But I feel like there was a lot of communication very far away. You feel me? But hold on before I forget. You could be dealing here with a Pisces, a Libra. Um, another Libra. Ah, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Aquarius, uh, Gemini, Libra. There's a lot of um air here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius. More Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Leo, Aries. I mean, there's a lot of air here. There's somebody that from a long distance is wanting to reach out to you here too. It could be a person that I haven't, haven't seen in a long time. Let me see what else on this spread. Minera for Capricorn. Yeah, like, listen, very lonely home here. You know, I feel like you work your ass off. I feel like you do a lot, you know, when it comes to, like, you know, gathering up your money. You're working a lot. You feel me? When you come home, it's like you feel lonely. It's like you feel like there's an empty home, even if it's full of people. You feel me? You need to move forward because I feel like you're looking. You, I feel like you're looking for this family home to be full. To be a family. You feel me? But I feel like you're caught up a lot in working and managing your money. There could be something that you're dealing with right now that you need to put your money together. You feel me? But somebody from a far away is coming through. Or somebody's moving here far away. It could be in your family. It could be, you know, a person you're dealing with. But I feel like something here is going to happen very far away. Like, a, like moving to another country or something. Or coming from another country. Let me see. Minera, what is all about? Yeah, this person, like, no matter how far they are, whatever it is, you're going to get gifted with something for your hard work. 
but I feel also that this person's coming in with a lot of like manipulation, like gifting you with something, like trying to get you back into their energy. I feel like you worked so hard, and it's like when you would kind of you would come home, it's like coming home to nobody. You feel me? And I feel like this person was always out doing something. You feel me? And they had no time for you. They couldn't cater to you how you're supposed to be catered to, woman or man. For some reason, somebody could have an ego here tattoo. I'm seeing a very strong ego, beautiful ego tattoo. Deep of hearts. When I look at the bottom of the deck, it's thief. But that's what she told me, thief of hearts. But be careful with people stealing your money. Because I feel like they've used a lot for your money. Give me one more minute on this. This is more like... A lot of betrayal here than anything for the person, the I main female here. There's a lot of people here involved, Capricorn in this. There's a main female here that betrayed somebody here very bad. It could be a, it could be a main female. Um, um, I'm, I'm, my bad. Oh my God, Mercury retrograde. It could be a, a main male as well, but I feel like it's more like a female, like I said before. But there's a lot of people involved here. It could be the mother of your child. It could be, you know, a baby daddy. But I feel like there's a family involved here for some reason. I feel like you grew up with somebody. I feel like you came. For, oh my God, I'm picking up adoption here. Do this card. I'm picking up adoption. I'm like. I don't know, but I'm picking up adoption with community here. It could be neighbors, could be the neighborhood, could be anything. But I'm picking up like somebody was left, you know, very little, and some two people came to rescue you. It could be your grandparents that raised you. It could be you know people that raised you. But I'm picking up on a lot of adoption here. You were gifted by the universe. There's somebody here looking for you. And it could be in another country is what I'm picking up. She's telling me here. Oh my God, wait a minute. Minera. Somebody was adopted here. Somebody was left here behind, but it was not this person's fault. I feel like this person was working so much and didn't have anybody. I feel like somebody was thrown out here and didn't have much to give you feel me they didn't have much to give they didn't have a home to come to and i feel like they worked and worked and worked so hard but still didn't have enough enough to give and i feel like they had to give their child for adoption but i feel like somebody here lives in a very like in another country or something they could be possibly in another state i feel like this woman whoever it is that I'm picking up here regrets everything. I feel like this woman is like wondering about their child or you're wondering about this mother here, biological mother here. But no matter what, whoever raised you here, you're very happy with this person. But I feel like you have more connection here with a male than a female. It's like the male protects, protected you more than the female for some reason. I'm picking this up. Minera. Let me get another one on this one. Look, you're going to get a message. So if somebody here, you know, has been looking for a parent or has been looking for a lost relative, however you put it, you feel somebody that raised you no matter what it was, you're going to get a message. Or you need to start sending messages out. You need to start looking for somebody because somebody's looking for somebody here. And it's going to give... It's going to be like a surprise for you, is what I'm picking up here. You're not going to believe it. That's going to fulfill your heart, is what she's trying to say. Oh my God, let me see. Well, give me one more. She threw everything down. Yeah, like it's going to fulfill your heart, is what she's telling me. You're missing. Somebody here is missing somebody from a family member. Let me see. Sudden, sudden wealth. Sudden wealth could be anything. It could be money. It could be, you know, sudden wealth and success in your home and, you know, everything. Sudden wealth could be anything. Something missing in your life. You feel me? And I feel like it's family. That you run. I feel like there's a mother here looking for somebody. Look, and a main male. I feel like a main male and a main female here 
for some reason didn't have the ability <clears throat> to do anything for somebody here and I feel like somebody was stolen so somebody here got adopted I feel like somebody lied their whole life to what were got adopted here and I feel like somebody here tried to have their child but they said no you're not having your child I'm taking your child I don't know why she's giving me this but it needs to be heard but you're going to get gifted. I feel like you're getting gifted from the universe here. I feel like, you know, there's going to be two people here to come in to help you. I feel like you need to speak. I feel like you're going to get something unexpectedly. And it's going to make your life much better. But I feel like you're missing a hole in your heart for something here. And it could be parents. It could be people that passed away that raised you. It could be your own parents. But I feel like there's a lot there's something going on here with adoption. A message of concern. Somebody here is looking for somebody and somebody here wants to find somebody too. I don't know. Try. You need to try. I feel like this is going to fulfill your heart is what she's saying. There's a hole in somebody's heart here. But for some of you, there's a home here that needs to get filled up. You fill me with love. You know, with more stability. And I feel like you're going to be gifted with something. But there's a main um, female here and a main male that are having issues here with money. But somebody's going to be gifted. But there's a main female here that has a problem with somebody that doesn't want you to move forward. So be careful with a main female. It could be a male. But I'm picking up on a strong woman here. That fucks somebody over. It could be woman to woman. It could be woman to man. But a strong woman here has the ability to manipulate a person here. And you've been manipulated for too long. I was a motherfucking bitch. You cannot be doing that to people. You're moving forward. You're going to get sudden wealth from somewhere. It doesn't mean millionaires or richness, but you're going to get money from somewhere. Whatever you're you're doing, keep on going because you're going to succeed. You're working very hard. You need to take a break, okay? Because I feel like you're working too hard and you need a break. Don't work yourself up because she's telling me, Tiene que descansar. somebody here needs a break from too much working. It's too much. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, I need to shout her out in every video because uh, it's a friend of mine it's from YouTube. I met her on YouTube, you know, somewhere. I'm not going to say where, but she, you know, she gifted me with some um, tarot decks. So I'm using the magic of unicorns. So let me see, Minera. What advice is here for Capricorn? Let me see. Open your heart. Love yourself. Dare to be vulnerable. I cannot say nothing else. You have to open your heart. You have to be vulnerable. You can't be like very tough on yourself. You feel me? It's like you've closed yourself off completely because of all the damage. You need to open your heart again. You need to love yourself first. Know what you're worth. Know what you can do. Know what you can give. Know your strength. You have to be vulnerable sometimes to feel things come in, to feel love, to feel what's missing, the missing pieces, okay? Nine could be significant. Look it up. But it's like you need to be more vulnerable with yourself, okay? And accept that you are, you can love somebody. You can be vulnerable. You can put your walls down. You can let people in. So love yourself. So you could dare to be vulnerable. You need to open up your heart. Something's missing. Something is missing here. In your heart. And I feel like you need to open up your heart. So that peace can come in and fulfill. Let me see. This could be first, middle, last, and issue for you. What were you thinking about? It doesn't matter. Nicknames. Let me see. Like, I feel like... You know, somebody's trying to open your heart, and it's like you won't open up your heart. Somebody's trying very hard to open up your heart. And you're not, you're not letting that vulnerable side of you. You're keeping the, the walls up. You need to open up your heart. You need to dare to do it and see what happens. 
because I feel like with this card, the way that she's telling me is like you're so walled up that you don't let nobody in. And somebody's trying to come in to fulfill that heart of yours and give you the love that you want. But you you have it closed. You need to open it up. If you really want love. You have an I, which could also be an H here. You have another H, which could, this is a straight H. You have a P here. You have an I that could also be an H. You have an N that could also be a Z. You have a C. You have a V. You have an N again, which could also be a Z. Let's stop already. You got a Q. You got an H I. I don't know if I was going to say cute when I saw that you. I don't know. Somebody probably says cute to somebody here a lot. You're so cute. Or you look so cute. Or something like that. Oh. Or somebody used to say that to you. Or you say that to somebody. You got an F. You got a Y. You got an A. And you got another O. So let's flip the double. You got H-I twice here. You got an N-Z. Let me flip them and see what I can get you. So you got a V. Another V. And you got a T. Okay. So you got double V. I'm going to flip this one. You got double O. And I'm going to flip this one and see what I can get you. You got S. And you got another NZ. So this NZ is very significant for somebody's name here. I'm going to flip this one and see what I can get you. Because it's doubled up. You got a W, which you could also flip to an M. Okay? So I wish you the best of luck. I love you all. And I'll see you later, my loves.